What's up guys? I hope you all are doing well and having a great Monday. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure about making this video with everything going on in the world, but it's been weighing on my heart and um, it's something that I, I wanted to share with all of you. And so I, my hope is that you can take something positive away from this. Last Friday, my wife and I actually got the opportunity to go away for a day uh, just to spend some time together. We haven't had a date night or anything like that in quite some time. And so we were both, you know, a little stressed out, a little overwhelmed and decided that it would be a good thing uh, for both of us to head out of town and do that. As literally as we were leaving, both of us were just kind of, you know, ready for that weekend to start or for that day to start uh, where we were going away. And not even a couple minutes uh, after we left our house, we pulled up onto uh, what was a head-on collision, and uh, everybody was, you know, stopping, obviously throwing on their hazard lights, and nobody really knew what was going on. We actually didn't witness the uh, accident uh, take place, but we were probably the second or third car uh, in line behind it. So. Somebody came up uh, to, to my truck window and let me know what was going on. And so immediately, uh, both my wife and I, you know, got out of the truck, approached the accident, and it was bad. It was, it was very, very bad. It was, you know, a high speed head on collision where uh, you couldn't even tell what kind of cars uh, both drivers were driving. And uh, going up to the accident, uh, you know, saw that, um, or was told, I actually think I was told that uh, the driver of the car that was closest to us was, uh, you know, talking responsive. And uh, I got up to his car and, you know, kind of asked him if he was okay. But the the way the door was, it, it was jammed uh, back and he was, he was trapped. He was trapped inside the car and couldn't get out. And uh, he asked me to get him out. And so, you know, my first response was I'm gonna rip the door off of this guy's car and get him out of there, you know, cause I could see that he was bleeding and, um, you know, jammed in there. And, and I wanted to do everything that I could. So I grabbed the door, uh, started bending it in half, was able to break the window and pull the door in half. And then uh, the woman that was on uh, the phone with 911, because there was nobody there um, as far as the first responder at that point told me, that they recommended to stop just in case he had some type of an injury. So I just bent the door in half, uh, pulled the airbag up so that this guy could, you know, breathe. And, and I was talking to him and uh, he actually asked me to call his fiance uh, to let her know what had happened. And that was a tough, it was a tough spot to be in, you know, overall, you know, just the whole situation was, um, you know, something that um, you don't want to encounter in life and uh, um, it was tough. I mean, he, he was was banged up. Thankfully, like I said, he was talking. Uh, the other driver, um, unfortunately, I don't think personally made it. I, I don't think when they pulled him out of uh, uh, the other car that, that he was, um, I'm not sure if he was still alive or not, which is very unfortunate. But the point of me sharing this with you all is not for a, wow, Brian, good job, or you did something awesome or whatever. I am just sharing it because there are times in life where you get uh, confronted with a situation or you're put in a situation where you have uh, choices and, and you have ways that you can react. And, you know, for us, uh, both my wife and I, we were ready to get out of town and it would have been super easy and simple to simply, you know, throw the truck in reverse uh, and just flip around and forget that we had even come up on that accident. And um, that wasn't the right thing to do. The right thing to do was to get out and see if my strength and power and, you know, what my wife was able to do, uh, if we could help. And there were a lot of good people that hopped out of their cars that, you know, didn't know the, the drivers of those two cars at all, but they just wanted to make a difference. They wanted to, um, you know, do something good and uh, and see if they could help. And that's exactly what we did. And, you know, I'm, I guess, just sharing this because 
the driver of the, of the car that, that I uh, was able to help out a little bit, he, he, I'm sure, was heading home, not planning on getting in a head-on collision that, you know, most likely will in a lot of ways uh, change his life and his world. Thankfully, I, I hope, I don't know for sure, but I hope that he's okay. And, and um, you know, obviously, um, you know, the, uh, the other driver, I don't know if he made it or not, but it, it certainly didn't look good. And I don't think that, that he, he was planning on that either. But, uh, you know, I always talk about being a good person and doing the right thing. And when you have a, um, a situation that comes up, there's ways that you can take it and, and uh, um, you can be a good person and, and uh, you know, kind of put everything else aside and make the right choice. And uh, I'm just saying that because I think with with everything going on in the world, it's it's even more important to share a message like this uh, about about being positive, being a good person, making the right choice, doing the right thing. And so uh, I hope if nothing else that uh, some of you out there can take something from this. And um, when you're presented with a situation in life, you can, you can make the right choice. You can be a good person. You can be positive. You can upbeat, be upbeat. And uh, um, like I would say, be great. So I hope you all uh, are, like I said, having a great Monday. And uh, I hope that, that somebody out there uh, can take something positive from this. And, you know, I, uh, I really believe that uh, the world is a great place and there are a lot of great people in it. And I saw a lot of great people last Friday that were helping out. And um, that was very motivational and inspiring to me. And uh, I just wanted to share it with all of you. So.